We're back, people, and today we're taking a look at the Panthers defense, get a nice little game preview versus the Dolphins offense. Not going to look at the Panthers, though. There's nothing too much going on there. The defense, um, definitely a little, you know, better than their offense overall, but I'm not too worried about them in the long run. This is one of the, you know, worst teams in the league. The Dolphins should take care of business versus this Carolina squad, but it is an NFL team, so you can't take them too lightly any single week. But just want to take a look what they do. They run a lot of zone coverage. You can see on this specific play how they match up versus the Dolphins because this is a very similar concept to what the Dolphins ran a lot last year and they'll still run it this year too but the motion all the way across and then like the two-man route concept here at the bottom is definitely something you'll see and you see how the Panthers do it the safety comes down and takes the guy on the motion all the way across so if they could if they do this versus the Dolphins safety come down he matches him and then imagine this is Tyreek this is Waddle they have this guy clear out and then run the deep dig behind it Dolphins have ran this so many times. Look at all the space to work. Um, there's a lot more room in the middle of the field that I've noticed going over these games. And the, like they're playing the Lions, who like also like to attack the middle of the field. They run some similar stuff that the Dolphins do. And there was a lot of room to work with. The linebackers get taken down by play action. And I think you know Tua can have a really big game, maybe one of his best games in this one. Even though their Panthers pass defense hasn't been too bad, they're missing some safeties. And I just think it's the perfect... Uh, offense versus defense matchup for the Dolphins offense to take advantage of and they don't have a chance so the running game won't be as like effective with the big plays they'll still be fine like the Panthers run defense is not good so but I would like to see the Dolphins really try to pick them apart with some play action attack the middle of the field just another example second play of the game these are the first two plays of the game I'm showing for the, the Lions just a play action uh, first play the Panthers were in cover three this time some cover two they bring a blitz off the edge they do like to do that they like to bring some of their corners on some blitzes so you got to be aware of that to a uh is fine versus that stuff so i'm not too worried and these are the types of throws he makes the anticipation throws finding this open zone and they'll give a lot of cushion they're giving cushion to these lines receivers if they're giving cushion to them they'll give some cushion to the dolphins one dolphins receivers as well this will be an area that they can attack pretty often because uh, other teams have been like so trying so hard to take it away and it hasn't really helped them in the long run it's just we they haven't we haven't been able to show to us full-on strength in those last couple games just because teams are so you know so committed to stopping the middle of the field even though the dolphins can attack you in other places here's a big run by david montgomery panthers you know haven't been very good versus the run they're not like i think they're one of the lowest dvoas versus the run but you can create some big plays and well, I'll show you some plays later in the game where the Dol uh, Lions started running some similar... When they have Montgomery in, they don't run the very similar concepts. But he was still even creating some big plays, even though he's more of a grinded out type of back. Later in the game, they were running Craig Reynolds and then ran a lot of similar things the Dolphins will. And he picked up a lot of chunk plays towards the end. Even when they bring a, you know, an extra guy down in the box, it's not something super special. They have the front to stop, like a run-stopping front. They're like looking... Uh, they're playing like tight up front with like a nose, some four eyes or three bump it down three and a four but it's very similar and they're still able to create some long runs off of it montgomery you know bouncing around and making a play happen i think the dolphins running game can definitely flourish even without devon achan they definitely are susceptible to play action this guy's even in man to man and he just lets laporta leak out into the end zone laporta had some big plays he's all the linebackers biting in on play action on the first couple plays down in the red zone play action will work these guys are not the most disciplined team they're pretty young on both sides of the ball. Got to be able to take advantage of this. I think the Dolphins, if they actually play up to what their potential is, they could put up so many points against this team. Even though it's not the worst defense they will have faced this season, but they can definitely um, attack them. Uh, like the Lions offensive corner was in his bag in this game, and the Lions took this one very easily. Lions got pretty effective with their screens. You know, motion this guy down behind the three guys and just get a numbers matchup to the outside. Um, Dolphins will definitely, depending on the matchup, will go pretty screen heavy as they went against the Giants. I could see them doing the same thing versus the Panthers just because when the Lions did run their quick screens, uh, their creative type plays like this, it was effective. Like this is a third and six. They motioned him down and they just have this advantage, basically three to block three here. And then the fourth guy is so far to the inside. He takes that one, you know, step is out of position. Like this linebacker group can be attacked and that's when Dolphins are, um, can are very good if the linebacker core is weak the dolphins like that's when Tua shines and can take advantage like they're not terrible but it's definitely you know not the strength that they've seen like versus the bills very next play they go to another screen they see all this room to work with 
I could see the Dolphins doing like an RPO type slant type in this type of situation, but just screen getting them out, getting basically down uh, one yard short of the end zone. But they'll give you some space to work with, and I feel like the Dolphins see this. This is what they're going to go for, the play action. They get people to bite very hard, and then the guys moving out in space. This is where the Dolphins have really excelled this season with their O-line, and I could see them, you know, definitely using some similar concepts with the lines they're using here. They go a little bit different, but they'll definitely like to run some tunnel screen type action like that. Just want to show this play for the trick play. This is the exact same one the Niners did versus, versus, the, versus the Cowboys on primetime. Lions had ran it earlier that day to Laporta, just leaking out of the backfield. So they're definitely susceptible to some of these trick plays, you know, the pitch uh, back to, you know, the reverse, then pitch it back. Basically, it comes like a flea flicker, and the tight end that's out here looks like he's lead blocking for the pitch, just leaks out late, and then he's wide open. Would like to see the Dolphins get creative, but they don't need to open up and show their playbook versus this type of team. But it is something like, I could see Mike doing some stuff where he's showing stuff on purpose to be like, hey, this is in our bag, so teams have to worry about it. And then he shows some di things that look similar, but they end up being different. And uh, that these are usually the types of games where you do that type of thing. Lions here, go play action again, trying to take a deep shot with like your two-man route concept down the field. And they just, he dumps it off down the middle, pick up nine yards on first and 10. But you can see all this room to work with. You know, they bring a lot of people to protection. This is something very similar to Dolphins will do. It's not a perfectly clean pocket, but you can see all this space to work with, man. Like, people get widened. If he throws this ball, imagine this is like a Dolphins receiver. That's a tight end down the field, but he's even open. He just takes the dump off, but there's so much space to work with, and this is a throw. Tua makes 90% of the time, and they have backup safeties in, and their safeties in this game didn't look very aggressive. Like, they played with a lot of depth, and usually when safeties has have success for the Dolphins, they're driving on things over the middle. Um, so, with... I think these are, you know, the spaces that the Dolphins can attack, really take advantage of. But even, you know, check downs, there will be open space in the middle of the field. There's someone they got to watch out for. It's Brian Burns. I think he's questionable, but he probably is going to play. And he's definitely their best player on the defense. He's the game changer. He could easily get a sack or two. Um, Agent zero for the team. <laughs> he's very solid. Like, Dolphins last week had to work about Thibodeau. He ended up getting a sack, but didn't have a huge impact on the game. And I just feel like with the Dolphins' offensive line playing much better and their scheme really helping out these guys, that they don't get to, the defensive lines aren't making as much of an impact on the outside, especially on the edge. The interior is where they can have problems, especially if I, I know, uh, I think Williams isn't playing right. So Eichenberg definitely has to step up. It won't be as big of an issue versus the Bills, but I would like to see him versus a lesser opponent at least show something out there to, you know, not be super worried, at least if you're playing, you know, not the best players in the league. Because he did go against a defense tackle, uh, Daquan Jones at the time, who was playing like one of the best D tackles in the league. So let's see if he can at least step up for some lesser talent, which would be a nice sign. Slant at the top of the screen. Panthers rotate down into cover six. They like to disguise, show some like quarters look action. As you can see with their coverages here at the top, they're showing like a quarter sh shell but they end up playing quarters at the bottom and then cover two at the top of the screen here. Goff does a good job of recognizing it. Um, just seeing this slant option, this guy's getting up. He is able to eat up that cushion, and there's just a bunch of space to work with. If you give it all, that much space to work with on these slants, Dolphins are going to pick this defense apart because that's an area where they love to throw these timing routes. Goff was comfortable throwing these all game, and he's a very uh, similar quarterback, similar system type of player on these throws as Tua is. Um, with the, just the timing and anticipation of things, they have some similarities in those areas. And there's definitely uh, those spaces to attack versus Carolina. Now to see Reynolds looking like what the Dolphins will run, the motion with the toss to the outside, almost like the guy's inserting in there. And this is like where they got all their biggest chunk plays in this game. Like Montgomery had that huge run early, but you can see this defense is very aggressive on these pitches. Dolphins will love to wind it back. And if they're going to play aggressive like that, they'll definitely have those opportunities and teams have not been playing super aggressive that's why they've been able to really capture the outside because they're scared of those cutbacks but with how the Dolphins have been hitting a lot of big plays these linebackers might have to overcommit you can see with the motion with the flow of this play it's just stick that from the ground and there's a lot of room to the backside and this just wasn't just a one-off it was like five four or five plays in a row for Craig Reynolds last play they want to break down he Reynolds basically got them down here either running on tosses or some outside zone and you can see the Panthers, that's where they're most uh, most vulnerable on the run defenses are on these types of plays. 
like even then like look at this cutback lane like he could he scored hitting through here but he could have hit a cutback and it was wide open these cutback lanes are going to be there but even then if you just want to bang through there's room to work with he makes a good play um like getting over the top of things but this defense will overflow on things and i think the dolphins will see that in the film room work a lot on their cutback lanes their wineback stuff because that's a big part of their running game it's a big thing that most likes to do as well so excited to see that so if you enjoyed the video make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time